Okay guys, here's a video of the boat. Just wanted to give you a very brief rundown. Uh, it's an Achilles. It has a hard bottom. It's a, it's a real rib because it has this hard boat bottom. Forget all the names and whatnot. And this is the, you know, Hypalon or whatever. This is the better. It's not PVC. It does not leak at all. All the handles are good. And they're, everything's supple. It bends perfect. I have new registration. I haven't put the sticker on. Here's where I keep the gas tank. It stays put. Holds three gallons. Right here you'll see a little, uh, little storage locker. That never gets any water. It's perfectly sealed. That's where you fill up the air into the three individual tubes. So this one fills up this tube. That one fills this tube. And then this one right here fills up the front three. So if you ever had a puncture, the other tubes would remain filled. Uh, and then these row, these uh, oars are stuck on here permanently. Um, but then I found that they're cracking. So I'm pretty disappointed about that. I don't think that this could be used very well. You'd have to replace the bottom little part. I'll find out how much those are. Uh, this again is hard. Here's your bench. It can slide on and off. And of course you can sit there. And I usually sit up there while my friend is back here uh, manning the outboard or vice versa. This is the battery. It's in a little uh, plastic case and then we wrapped it with a bag just for a little splash stuff. So here's a Tohatsu, it's four stroke, 20 horsepower. It's as big of a outboard as you could put on this boat. You couldn't fit a larger one. This um, hits the maximum weight allowed for this size boat. And uh, it kicks ass, frankly. It, this thing will go 34, 33 miles an hour. If the wind is at your back, you could go even faster uh, in this little boat. Uh, here's your hard transom. This is solid as a rock. No issues. There's the little drain hole. Go around here, more of the same. Again, the paddles friggin' broke. Uh, I think because it's just weather and sun. I'll find out how much it is to get these bottom parts replaced. It should be pretty cheap. There are no tears, no leaks, no anything. It is pretty much a new boat. It's in new condition. Uh, and then for the weakest part of this package is probably this trailer. You can see it's at a weird angle. I've taken this all the way to Havasu and back. That was a six hour drive. No issue. The little winch will lower the boat, no problem. It looks crappy, but we uh, reinforced the trailer itself with some wood. And uh, it's really solid. The tires are in great shape. These have no issue. The tires are fine. The trailer is just kind of old. We slapped on some Harbor Freight lights, and those work when you hit the uh, brake on your car. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. The other factor that makes this a good deal is that I have all this gear. So I'm throwing in a bunch of life vests, the air pump, all kinds of stuff. You have like an air horn, a pump, there's a hitch for your truck, hose, gloves, winch, fish pole, holders. These will just hang off the side of the boat with the piece that's required for your uh, fishing rod. Spare oil, little, little stuff you need, rope, nets, anchor, flag, winch, diving gear. It's all the little stuff that you would spend 500 bucks having to buy because you don't know you need this stuff until you own the boat and then you realize wait I need all the little crap this all this is just an extra buoy I had so when you dock you can throw the buoy so you don't bump the dock speaking of bumping the dock before I had the buoy I left it 
stupidly in the wind and it grinded up the little rail, but that's what it's for. It saved the boat. So that's it. I think it's a um, 13 foot boat. Look in the description for that one. But it's basically a new boat. I bought the boat in 2016 or 17. It's 2020 right now. And the um, outboard is no more than six years old. It's killer. And it, it may have a counter on it too, but it's basically been used one to 200 hours. It's like new. I really didn't use it enough. I uh, bought it and it sat around and I took it on a few trips. Didn't use it enough. Brand new boat when I bought it. So here we are. All right, thanks a lot.